Time now is 7-12 on a Tuesday, and it seems like everything and just about everyone is busy during the holidays. The emergency room, no exception. And that makes it important to know when you should go to the ER and when you should seek other forms of treatment. Dr. Meredith Maxwell joins us now this morning to talk about when you really need to think about going, because you don't want to flood the emergency room when there are real emergencies happening. Right, there is a spike of emergency visits during the holidays, whether that be due to stress, kitchen accidents, attic accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Going up the ladder trying to put all those Christmas lights or boxes back up. <laughs> right, right, so you wanna know when to go and when to not. Right, you 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 don't want to overflow the emergency room since there's this big spike with like things that don't need it. There's other places to go, better places to get, faster places to go. Yeah, like after hours clinics or urgent cares. Those are good alternatives. Exactly. So like they're good for sutures and and quick uh, like X-rays and things like that. Also, call your doctor if if you have any questions. They they would be able to see you the same day in most cases and maybe prevent that emergency room visit if possible in a big bill. That's true, <laughs> yeah, because your insurance might cover some of it, but you're probably going to have that, that one-time cost, too, that you're going to have to pay. Right. Um, as far as emergency room visits that probably aren't appropriate, what are some things that you guys are seeing in the ER that could be handled at the urgent care or your regular doctor? So we see a lot of, like, strep, cold, in the ER, flu, that kind of thing, and a lot of uh, people don't really have a, a primary care, so that might be a reason, but that might be a more appropriate urgent care visit or something like that. There is, There are time and place to go for those things. For instance, if your baby is very sick, not drinking, not making wet diapers, really, really fussy, um, a newborn with a fever, that kind of thing. Um, if you're having respiratory distress with those, like the flu or cold, I mean, that's Other completely different, exactly. But most things can be handled not in the ER. <laughs> yeah, just think about it before you make that decision. Um, how can you tell or what do you recommend staying healthy this time of year? I mean, people are drinking more, they are eating more, like you said, they're stressed because they're thinking about all the things they've got on that to-do list. Right. <laughs> well, avoid overeating. I know it's a great time to eat and we have an excuse to eat, but that can really lead to some complications in certain types of disease processes. So that's one thing. Avoid the stressors. That's a huge thing. can lead to chest pain. Um, lots of things that we don't want to have during the holiday season. Try to be careful with the knives. Um, cooking, that's a big uh, thing that we, we see as accidents in the kitchen, so be mindful and try not to rush too much. A lot of people are juggling a lot of things yeah. on the stove, on, yeah. you know, in the and, oven. And the drinking and, and driving, the motor vehicle accidents that we see so much. Now in today's world, I mean, we have lots of transportation, ways to get back and forth, so there's no excuse not to use a person who hasn't been drinking. And I know you're going to say don't forget to exercise this time of year. It gets hard because we are so busy, but if you can try to stay in the routine. Exactly. That will minimize your stress level, keep your head clear. Maybe, you know, you won't eat as much. <laughs> <laughs> Plus you have time to do it. Yeah. You can work off some of that stress exactly. by maybe in the walking. Food. <laughs> yeah, true. All right. Dr. Meredith Maxwell, thanks so much as always. You're welcome. Happy holidays you to you. Too.